Hello, I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you to this Christian ministry. We're going to be having our prayer time ministry today, but first off, I'd like for us to read today's scripture. It comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 24, verses 1 through 10. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell within, for he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands, and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Shelah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hope, host. He is the King of glory, Shelah. Open up your heart and mind today and allow the Lord to come into your life and you can know his righteousness and experience his salvation in your life. You can do this by getting down on your knees and telling him that you need him as your Lord and your Savior, and you believe and have faith that Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty for all the sins of the world, even yours. And through your faith and belief in what Jesus did on the cross, he'll forgive you for your sins and save you. And you shall experience his salvation. Thank you for being with us during the reading of today's scripture today and being with us as we go forward in our prayer time ministry. I want to pray for Don Getty. He has prayer for his life, his work, ministry, and education. Mark Terry. Mark has a situation of stress in his job, and, and he's asking for prayer of, on how to handle this. And he's also asking for strength and wisdom to turn this and seek out a solution with God. Sherry Jackson. She has prayer for depression finances and health. God can bless and heal her. Cindy Hightower, she's having shots in her spine next week and she appreciates our prayers for her. Let's remember Cindy. Michael Franklin, he has prayer that he's offered an executive director position with VHC Medical Brigade and asked for God to bless him today. Deborah Scott, she has prayer for her daughter Connie that's looking for her own place and a safe place. Abby Todd, he has prayer for his wife that's experiencing breast cancer and she's got an operation in radiation coming up. And we want to pray for a successful operation in healing. Joan Dela Cruz and her situations in her life. Lakeisha Johnson, she has prayer for her career and promotion. Veronica Bristol, she has prayer for herself and she prays for God's protection on her job and family. Jim Gerard, he has prayer for peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Praise God for these prayer requests. Praise God for the heart that was able to share with us and seek out brothers and sisters in Christ to pray along with us for these requests. Thank you all for these prayer requests. And we pray for all the people 
that we reached out to in this prayer time ministry, the ones that we sent out and spoke to and, and asked them, and, and we want to pray for you during this prayer too and for the situations that are going on in your life. Dear God, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts that we have a will and a way to reach out and to know you and to communicate with you. We lift up each and every one of these prayer requests that the people have taken time to, to send to you through this Christian ministry. And we pray for them and lift them up in their prayer requests. And God, we just ask that you would benefit them and heal them and, and, and enlighten them over how to handle certain situations and put a hedge of protection around them like only you can. God, you know, God, you know the, the need and the exact remedy for each and every one of these situations. And we lift these things up to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us. God bless you and have a wonderful day. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Thank you.